Good morning. It's uh, March 20th, the last day of winter. And I'm out here in Dieppe Park, Dieppe neighborhood, um, over that way. And I've usually started at the other end of this soccer field here, but uh, today I'm going to go this direction. I haven't been here since early in the winter, so... Um, Kind of missed the entire most snowy part. Snow is melting now as we finally warm up. But I'm back. I'm hoping the path is nicely cleared. And uh, we'll take a walk and see what's what. Probably take a different path too. I'm not exactly sure how this will work out starting in this direction. First we go under the uh, uh, Mc McIntyre. McIntyre? McCarthy. Starts with the Mc <laughs> bridge. <laughs> Here. It's about plus three. You can actually see some open water there on the creek, so definitely thin ice now. I'm surprised to see that. I guess it's uh, thawed more than I thought. It is the last day of winter. We have to walk along here till we come to a bridge and then go down the other side, I think is the way this will work. Lots of geese around, you can hear them. It's like the reverse of in the spring when I was, or in the fall when I was getting all those shots of geese. Let's see, on the Kickstarter front, going well. We're just under 8,900 of the 12,000 I'm looking for, Canadian dollars. As of last time I looked, just before I started walking here. And still uh, 17 days to go, so more than two weeks. And we're still not half to the halfway point of the campaign. That'll be on Monday, Tuesday. 30-day campaign and there's still 17 days left, so there you go. Oh, still some ice here i got to watch out for. Oh, they're having a lot to say, those geese. Mostly, want a mate? Want a mate? Want a mate? <laughs> it is that time of year. Hmm, that looks like it could have some ice I better watch out for. It is above freezing, but it would have frozen overnight and it isn't necessarily completely thawed, so got to be careful of that. It looks like spring. And there's a pair. Pretty sure they'll be making eggs. Either that or they're fighting over a female. I can't tell the difference between a female and a male goose. I don't think that's an easy thing to see. But that's what this is all about, for sure. <laughs> In the spring, a young goose's thoughts turn to eggs. And the making thereof. Quite pretty. It's always pretty along here, no matter what time of the year. It's just an interesting landscape with the houses on the other side and the big patch of water and island in the middle of it. And right now you've got patches of ice, patches of open water, patches of geese. So if you haven't been to my Kickstarter, please go. Just $15 Canadian gets you the ebook. Um, of the anthology, which features authors who were guests during the third year of my Aurora award-winning podcast, The World Shapers, science fiction and fantasy, major authors in there, some international bestsellers, award winners. Mm -hmm. 
It's uh, tinyurl.com slash shapers of worlds three, numeral three, will take you to the campaign. There's lots of higher end. It's having a drink there, <laughs> that one. Not chasing you. <laughs> They're enjoying the open water over there. Bit of a breeze, I'm not wearing a hat. Might be a tactical error, but I'm not gonna freeze. It might just be a little cooler and comfortable. The path we're on will cross the bridge, then we'll end up going down the other side over there. If we do the loop I'm thinking of, Should be about an hour to do that. Here comes a jogger. Haven't seen a dog yet, but I'm sure I will. The alley down there is looking pretty flooded. Here's my bridge up here. Yesterday I didn't come out, uh, no particular reason except we had a lot of errands to run and a lot of Kickstarter stuff to do. There's always that right now, so my time just went away. Normally I'd walk along the creek first thing tomorrow. I'm not sure about that because of uh, something I have online I might take in. That's the uh, Royal Saskatchewan, uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police Museum over there. That's where they're upswept striking building. National Museum and tourist attraction. Here is the bridge. I hear water running, I think. Oh, maybe that was something else. Sure sounds like water running. Definitely water running. Can't see. I always look both ways on a bridge. Oh yeah, down here you can see there's white water moving out from under the bridge, although I can't quite see. Maybe when I get to the other side we'll be able to see what's making that noise. I'm surprised there's that much runoff happening. All right, well, if we went that way, I, we, we would connect up to the part I often walk on over there by the golf course. But we're going this way. Let's see if we can see under the bridge, though. <clears throat> oh, there's a weir. That's what that sound's coming from. <clears throat> cool to see. And it's kind of going under the ice. And then over there, it's open water again. So yeah, we keep this up and the long-range forecast shows nothing but melting by next week. Two weeks for sure, if we don't get more snow, it should be gone.
because look how much is gone already considering how much was here if you're there say hi nobody has said hi yet today on YouTube or Facebook I will answer questions assuming I can read them my eyes it's not always a given the grounds looking a little damp Oddly enough, this is kind of the same amount of snow there was the last time I walked out here, but that was at the beginning of the winter. I kept meaning to come out while we had a full snow cover, but never did. But this is pretty too. Actually more variation because of the open grass and the patches of snow. It's actually more visually interesting than just snow, I think. E. Wilson Park, that's what this is properly called. It's the Dieppe neighborhood to the south over there, which is what I put on the title. The park is A.E. Wilson Park. So If you have a house over here, you have a lovely view for sure over the park. Comes up over here. Hi. Could you grab the other side of this blanket? Sure. Well, I've only got one hand free, but. Uh, oh, yeah. There you go, buddy. Come on, kitty. All right, you got it. They're always willing to go up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Come on, kitty. I just had a beat knee surgery. Yeah, he's, he's, he's scared. It's okay, don't cut. Yeah, don't, because that branch got cut a little bit. That, remember, that branch is weak, but just leave him. Yeah, it's or okay. Just, just shake the branch and see if he comes. Or Let's pull it towards you. Make sure we're entering. Yes, we go. I hope. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, just be careful with that branch. Don't <laughs> care. Well, I'm more concerned about our new friend here yeah, than the cat. Yeah, don't fall out the tree. Uh-oh. This way, here. This way. No. Oh, this way. Uh -oh. The branch is coming. He's, he's coming. <laughs> Can you guys? Come on, let go, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, jump. Come on, come on. We got you. Jump. Oh my god. Just let it, let it come down. Yeah, we can Just let it come down. He'll, he's okay now. Oh. There oh. you go. Okay. Whoa. He's fine, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. Yeah, thanks very much. Holy crap. Glad I could help. Yeah, yeah, thank, well, you. thank you. <laughs> also got it recorded, partly, okay. so. <laughs> Well, that was interesting, <laughs> but the cat, cat made it down safely. You never know what will happen on these, one of these walks. As the, uh, Gimbal is saying, why am I not happy to the horizon? And there goes a segue while we're at it, or something similar. Come on, Gimbal, straighten out, look. There's the horizon, there we go. Nope, still crooked. It's determined that that's the horizon, and it's not. <laughs> I wonder if I, uh, just a second, I'm gonna turn off the Gimbal. Well, that's weird. Now the gimbal won't even go off. There it goes. All right.
There, that looks a little better. Such excitement. No cats were harmed in the making of that video. Unfortunately, no live streamers either. I saw that cat and I thought it was just like a piece of garbage or something stuck in the tree and then I realized what they were doing. I actually knew one of them, so one of the people there, you may have noticed, so it is a small city. Cats and trees, geese on ice. Yeah, it's still crooked, but what can you do? I think it's the slope of the land that confuses it out here. <laughs> anybody see that live? I can't tell if I've got anybody watching or not. There might be one, one live viewer at the moment. A very nautical building considering <laughs> there's really nothing nautical here a small pond small lake just a wide spot in the river really but then so is Muscana Lake really it's just a wide spot in the river nice house over there with a nice view big one big house See what that video looks like. I might uh, I have to cut it out and make it a separate video. Maybe it'll go viral. Don't think it's that good, considering I think I was probably pointing at nothing in particular for much of that. alternate path. I could take this path, but does it take me where I want to go? That's the question. Does it reconnect? I think it will. It'll work anyway. I usually walk on that one over there. Well, this just dumps me out on the street. So not really what I wanted. But since I've come this way, I will stick this way. This isn't actually a path. No, and it's icy too. I think I'll go over to the side. Oh, I'd walk on the other side. And I can pick up the path on the other side of the road up here, which will take me back down into the park again.
The trouble with cats is that their claws, of course, curve to the back. So it's really easy for them to climb and almost impossible for them to descend. Very much more difficult. Which is why cats stuck in trees is a thing. That was a classic example. It was on pretty skinny branches up there. Okay, just have to get across the street here. McCarthy Boulevard, get to the other side. Easier said than done. There is a crosswalk here. It doesn't have any light uh, lights on it, so be careful. This will get us back onto the path. A path. We have to go down to the another bridge before I can come back towards the car. Take us by this playground up here. I think it's a spray park in the warmer weather. A bit cloudy today, not the bright sunshine we've had some days, but still warm. Forecast actually said there might be rain showers, but it doesn't look very threatening to me. The lake disappears right here, but it's there. The creek. Creek. This has a name. It's the Rick Hansen Optimist Playground. Rick Hansen, as in Presumably, man in motion, the fellow who went across Canada on a wheelchair. Well, that doesn't look like fun. To be careful here. That slopes down. Maybe I'll go behind the uh, benches here, where at least I can hold on to something. There we go. path I want is actually over here. And there is that version of it which I've never taken. I should go this way because I've never gone this way. I think it goes to the same bridge. hope it does anyway. Oh no, it's the same path, it's just <laughs> two ways to get to it. The other way would have kept me on the path. That part took me through some grass and mud, but anyway, here's the path. There's the cell tower. I've got 5G now for the most part around Regina, so uh, buffering theoretically should be far less likely. Quite warm from walking. So 
especially as the sun peaks out. Noticeably warmer once that hits me. <clears throat> I'm hoping when I'm done and I take another look at the Kickstarter, it'll be up again. It'd be great if we could top 9,000 today, that's 75%, and I just need another sizable one, like $125 or something, would do it. Or a bunch of smaller ones. Those are good too. So it looks quite frozen here, further away from the bridges, but there is some open water visible. Definitely wouldn't want to risk the ice anymore. A week ago, I would have walked across there without thinking about it, but not anymore. The hillsides always clear off first because of the sun hitting them. Hey, I think we're at the one year anniversary too. I think it was March 19th may have been my first official walking in Regina video. I kept meaning to go back and check. <clears throat> but anyway, definitely been doing it for a year now. So welcome to year two of walking in Regina. There's the bridge I'm headed for. Don't know if I'll go on the island over there or not. Its paths are probably pretty uh, slushy. And since I had the uh, extra time spent rescuing the cat, <laughs> I'll uh, maybe just head on back to the car. How long have I been? Really? Well, actually it's been a far shorter walk than I thought it would be. I wonder why. Of course last time, no, oh, well the roads were clear last time, paths were clear. I mean, I'm not back to the car yet, but it I'm not 20 minutes away either. So maybe I will try the path on the uh, snowy island over there, see what it's like. <coughs> Right, time for a two-way look off of the bridge again. Oh, there somebody said hi. Imram, hi. Okay, the other way. I have walked out further along that way, and I will again, but not today. It's kind of bike you want, fat tires. Coming to Regina. Well, the snow's going away, so it'll probably be gone by the time you get here. Doesn't mean we won't have more, but the winter snow cover is going. If we get any now, it'll be a spring storm. Which can dump a lot of snow, but it doesn't stick very long. Or we might not get any. Don't know. It's like uh, sedimentary rock. You can see the layers of dirt and fresh snow. Around five months, so that would be April, May, June, July. Oh, that'll be our hottest, hottest time of the year. Well, after probably the hottest time of the year, but really warm. You can get frost in late August, but it's unusual. First frost is usually in September sometime. Sometimes the first snow too, but usually more like October. 
and it usually comes to stay in November or December. But I don't want to think about that now. It's just now melting. I prefer to think of that. An incipient spring. Really walked over that way. Could do that. If I go over there, it'll stretch it out a bit onto that island. See what the path is like. Somebody was walking over there. It can't be too bad. Two dogs ahead of us now. Yeah, what's that? It's difficult to get a job. I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't had a real job, like working for somebody else for a long time, being a freelancer, so I have no idea what the job market currently is. Um, service jobs, I think, are probably in demand. People need those. But I really don't know. People ask me that or they'll ask me immigration questions and I have no idea. I am an immigrant, but I was eight years old when we came up here and that was in 1967, so things have changed. And I didn't really know what was going on then. I was just, you're taking me where? Sasko what? Where? And they took me here. Well, not here, down in Weyburn. I've been here every ever since. Well, I'm not too hard to contact. This is not, particularly clear, but that's okay. I wanted to lengthen my walk a little bit. This will slow me down, too. A little slippery, so we got to be careful. Oop, 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 oop. Not sure what this island is called. They all have names, but I don't know them all. Tempting to cut across the island, but there's still some pretty deep snow in above the trees, so that probably would not be fun. Bridge came over a minute ago. Around the corner. This has been over the river and through the woods, but not to grandmother's house. My grandmother lived in Butler, Missouri, so couldn't make that on a walk. I'm from the, uh, if I, we moved up here from Texas when I was a kid. Plenty of culture shock but coming up from Texas to Saskatchewan, actually. Landscape is pretty much the same, but there's still a lot of differences. A lot of things that seemed really weird to us. But my parents had moved around a lot, and after that they stayed put, so this is where we settled, really settled, in Weyburn. And I started my career down in Weyburn as a newspaper reporter and photographer and eventually editor, and then moved to Regina. Let's see, this fall, it will be 34 years ago that I moved to Regina. 
So I've been here a while now. Put down roots, won't be leaving permanently, I would say. Well, eventually everybody leaves permanently, but hopefully that's still some sometime off in the future. Oh. Well, let's see. This is the island. We'll, uh, I can cross the other bridge. I think I'll get off of this and go across the other bridge. Actually, it's the same bridge. That's boring. No, we'll go this way. I'm sure I can keep my feet. If you can keep your feet when all about are losing theirs and blaming it on you. Little Rudyard Kipling, sort of, not quite. This island is a uh, kind of native prairie, grasses and plants. Can't really see that now, but it has native grasses and things like that on it. Another bridge up here that'll then take us back across to the path proper. Right. Right there. Well, technically that takes us. Oh right. No, it's the next island that has the native grasses on it. Not so much this one. One island short. Just a little bridge here. So we take another look to the north. To the south. Look to the north, look to the south. Stand up, sit down. Hmm, nothing rhymes. These are kind of faded, but there are, uh, that one's badly faded, but there are interpretive panels that talk about the uh, prairie grasslands, if you can still read them. The weather is tough on things. Between the sun in the summer and the cold in the winter, signs tend to fade in a very few years. And they have to be replaced, but it's not always a budget to replace them, so they can stay faded for a while. There's the bridge I'm headed for. And the car is not too far away. So, oh, there's some prairie grassland for you. Oof. Well, I knew coming over here I would find uncertain footing, and I was certainly right about that. And there's a dog. Also crossing the bridge. I think I'll step onto the grass here. Back to the mainland. <laughs> honk, honk, honk. Actually, quite close to the uh, 
soccer field that I'm parked on the other side of, other end of. So almost back to the car. Another look along the creek to the east. To the west, we will turn left, you take the high road and I'll take the low road and I'll be in Scotland before ye. Prairie Island they call it, as you might guess, might have guessed. Here is the little Dieppe Memorial and remembrance of the Dieppe Raid, which a lot of Canadians were killed during the Second World War. Kind of a test run for D-Day. So a bit of a schmozzle, but they learned stuff from it at a very high cost. We'll go down there so we can see it. soccer field. And you can't see any of the plaques though. <laughs> and it's blocked so I can't keep going. I guess there is here. So in memory of those who served during the Dieppe Raid, August 19th, 1942. Erected on the 50th Looks like they erected on the 50th anniversary, probably, more or less. <clears throat> the car is practically visible. It's right over there, behind that uh, ridge berm. How long did I end up going here? Still didn't do as long as I would have thought doing that walk. I thought the last time I did it, it was about an hour, but apparently not. little equipment shed. Something to do with power, I think, from the looks of it. <clears throat> power or water? Not sure which. And our car's down here in this parking lot, so I will stop right here. Thanks uh, for walking with me. Uh, go back and uh, check out the rescue of the cat if you missed that. <laughs> and I uh, should be back tomorrow with my walk along the creek. Bye for now.